Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome back. So good to see you. Today, I wanted to explore old money. If you like the old money aesthetic and you want to achieve it, not just within your style and the clothes that you wear, but also your surroundings, then this video is something you're gonna wanna see. When I think of old money, I always compare old money to the royal family or the families in Gossip Girl, such as Blair Waldorf. If you've ever seen Blair Waldorf's apartment in the TV show, you'll notice that her style is more traditional. But if you go and look at the royal family's castle, you'll notice it is very fancy and over the top and extremely classic. The items that I am going to mention today are a mixture of both. Depending on what you decide to bring into your home, you could make it fancy or not fancy. It's totally up to you. But because those are my two inspirations when I think of old money, that is what I'm going for when I think of decor. And something I noticed when I would look at the royal family's home or just look at other UK designers is that they would always design their spaces and arrange them very symmetrically, which is not something I'm used to seeing. And I didn't know if that had any correlation with the royal family or the classic style. And I found out, oh, it actually is a classic style thing. So come to find out, classic interior design is derived from Greek and Roman design. And this type of interior design is based upon order, balance, and perfect harmony. And knowing about the classic style, you know that when you are putting these pieces into your home, if you want a more clean, classy, formal look, then you're going to make sure that everything is symmetrical. And it's such an easy way to arrange things within your home. All right, so now that you know a little bit about the interior design, let's move into the decor items that you should look for to add to your home. So we're gonna have some simple things on here and some things that include doing some work, adding some features to your space to really make it feel old money. I do still consider the these decor items because it just enhances your surroundings. Not all of these items are going to consist of just things you can buy and sit on a desk. Some of them are going to be a little more embellished, but I think that overall everything on this list is just perfect. Another thing you'll want to be aware of is color palette. So just keep note of everything that you like here, but know that maybe not everything could fit in the mix depending on what color palette you go for. Okay, I think that's all I need to say, so let's start with the first decor item. The first item is a crystal decanter and glasses. This just looks fancy in any type of home, and it's really nice when you have guests over. The second one is a tea set. Of course, you have to have a nice bone china tea set. And with that, you will want a three-tier serving tray, and this is to put your tea sandwiches on, your scones, your little desserts. A collection of oil paintings. Get a bunch of little portraits or landscapes. They don't have to be huge, just make sure they are in gold frames. Marble busts. Or you could get something like what I have. This is not marble. It's supposed to look like it, I guess, but it's made of plaster and it's super light. And with that, we've got Greek columns like the one I've got back here. Next, we have pedestals. It's almost the same thing except they look different and again it's it depends upon what style you are going to go for within your space flocked wallpaper this is something i see a lot of within the castle of the royal family and it's a type of wallpaper that you actually could feel the ridges of the print on the outside and it's a specific design and I, I see it a lot and it's subtle it's not too distracting but it goes very well with all the embellishments on the wall a grandfather clock. You can always thrift these things too. A giant gold framed mirror. They can get pricey, but you know, maybe you can thrift it. <laughs> a cigar humidor. So if you don't know what this is, a cigar humidor is actually a cigar box that you store your cigars in that controls the humidity within the box so your cigars don't spoil. A large portrait with a gold frame. And when I say large, I mean huge, like the size of a wall, something that is a full centerpiece, something that captures the attention as soon as you walk into a room. Special edition books. Of course, if you are going to have an old money house, you'll probably have a library at some point and you can start by collecting special edition books on eBay or even the Pandango app. It's very easy to find them and they look so amazing and of course you can read them too. Drapes. So 
The difference between drapes and curtains is curtains are usually more translucent and drapes are more opaque to block out the sun. And they're very heavy and dense and this is exactly what you will want in your old money space. A canopy frame for rod pocket curtains. So you've probably seen this before, you just didn't know what the name was, but this is such a, a beautiful way to enhance your space. A canopy bed crown. So this is what would go on the top of a canopy frame for rod pocket curtains. A canopy bed frame. So if you didn't want the rod pocket curtains, you could always go for the canopy bed frame. This is definitely something you would see within the medieval era, and I still do see it today within the royal family's castle. I feel like in order to achieve this look properly, you would want to have high ceilings so the room does not feel small and cluttered, but it is a really good option. A four poster bed frame. If you didn't want to do the canopy, you could always just do a four poster bed frame. Find a nice vintage one, mahogany, maybe gold accent, a tufted bed frame. This is probably the fanciest of them all, I think, just because there's so many embellishments and details that you can see. And having this bed frame with the canopy rod pocket curtains, oh, it would just be so beautiful. A large accent rug with red detailing. I think the type of rug is a boho medallion rug, something like that. I don't actually know the exact name, but I'll put up some photos here so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Even within the different rooms that I've looked at that consist of mostly beige, they always still have a red accent rug. For some weird reason, red it just kind of ties everything together. And I don't know if this is a symbolism of royalty or something like that, but I always find hints of red in every design. Crown molding. Crown molding is the best way to transform your room and the easiest way. You could do this and not even have to destroy your wall. You could use you could use alien tape to do this, or you could just use a nail gun if you really want to make it a little more secure. But the reason I wanted to put this out here is because this is a great way to transform your room if you are on a budget and you just wanna make it look different and feel different and look fancy, it's a great option. You can add rope lights along the top of it and it really can just make the room feel warm and welcoming and give it the best lighting. Good lighting is a must when it comes to interior design because it can make or break the way a room feels. Another way to enhance your room is by doing panel molding. Very similar, also cheap and affordable, and it's easy to do. There's so many different ways that you could do this. I'll put up lots of photos for you here so you get some inspiration, but you actually don't have to damage your walls to do this at all. That's why this is so great. Adding a core bell. For simpler terms, it's essentially a bracket, and it's something that you would see maybe applied underneath a fireplace, or underneath some crown molding, for instance. And it's very lightweight material. It's not super expensive. And you do not have to ruin your walls if you want to install it. Another way to transform your space is by using onlays. There are so many different options when it comes to using onlays. So many different designs you can choose from. Again, you don't have to ruin your walls to use this at all. Double-sided tape. It comes in handy. A round dark wood table with gold accents or a solid gold table. I did lots of research before making this video, okay? And something that I saw consistently was round tables. I don't know why, but so many round tables with gold accents or solid gold. The next one is a console table with gold accents. This is also another thing that I saw. Next is a red Victorian chair. Like I said, red is an accent that you will see consistently within this aesthetic and you can't go wrong with some deep red colors. The next one is a chaise and this is a lounge chair. You've probably seen it before and they're very beautiful, but this is something that I see a lot of. A Victorian sofa. I think this is a must. Even if you aren't going with the super over embellished look, a Victorian sofa can go so well within any room. Just imagine it within a library and in front of a fireplace and just, oh gosh, a chess set. This, it's so, it's so DA to me, but it's also old money. A bed bench. 
This is a bench that goes at the end of your bed. So depending on what sort of bed frame you get, you'll want to make sure that it matches. But these, but these are always seen within the bedrooms. If I'm watching a time period film, I will always see them. And there's probably a specific reason that those were so popular back in the day. I'm not entirely sure if there is some history behind it, but it is something that I see very often. A croquette set. This is just a game. It's a classic game and you can't go wrong with having this. The next game would be a chess set, a poker set, and a pool table. Oh, and don't forget a baby grand piano. An antique jewelry box. A vintage swivel mirror. Figurines. When I say figurines, I just mean little caricatures. Chalmette table vase. Candles. This is an easy one. Everyone can go out and get candles, but you gotta have some candles within your old money space. And going with the candles, you have to have candle holders. And my favorite one would have to be the candelabra. A candelabra is just a candle holder that has multiple different arms. And again, these are these are candles that you would see as centerpieces within tables. Wall sconce candle lights. These are beautiful and they just look so classy and old and I love the way that they look and the lighting they give off is just great. But if you did not like the bright lights, something that I saw within the royal family's home is that they put the little tiny lampshades over most of their candlestick lights and I think that is because it just makes the lighting more warm. Next is a wall sconce candle holder. So you don't have to have one that you hook up to electricity. You could just have one that sits on the wall that you put your own candlesticks in. Just make sure you're careful to not catch anything on fire. A fountain pen. I can only imagine that the queen must have one on a little stand on her desk because this is just the classiest pen to have. And you can also get them engraved. A long formal dining room table. I would try to find one that seats anywhere from you know, 10 to 20 people. Because if you're going to have an old money house, you're probably gonna have lots and lots of dinner parties. And this is the type of table you will want. And last but not least, this is a simple one, is floral centerpieces. Something I always remembered for some weird reason is in Gossip Girl, Blair Waldorf's maid would always be arranging the floral centerpieces. Okay, so that was such a long list. I hope that this gave you some ideas for your old money inspired room. And if you have any other ideas that you would like to share, please do so below. Uh, I don't, I think, I think that's it. I think I'm done for this one. Anyways, thanks so much for being here and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.